Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are going to be making something pretty awesome. Recently I went to the Indy 500 with Steak and Shake and while I was there they showed me how to make their new Oreo Red Velvet Milkshake. It's a special limited edition milkshake along with their new peppercorn bacon steak burger, which they also showed me how to make. But as you guys know here, I've tried to make a burger previously and it didn't work out so well, so I'm gonna leave that to the professionals. I thought there's a small chance I might be able to handle the milkshake. One of my favorite things is they use real red velvet cake. So you know what that means. We need to make a cake. That's really, it's really red. And now into the oven we go. Let's start our milkshake process. I don't have an ice cream scooper. Options. Ooh, looks like the cake is almost done. So I'll prep our ice cream. That looks good. Maybe a little bit more. This is definitely not up to Steak and Shake standards, so I'm sorry, Steak and Shake. Put in a few Oreos. We also have a special red velvet syrup that I don't have, so maybe I'll just put in some extra cake to accommodate for the fact that I'm missing a few ingredients. A little bit of milk for the milkshake. Come here, little cakey cake. I legit just pulled this out of the oven. It's gonna be so hot, this icing is gonna melt as soon as I put it on it. Oh boy, they had a nicer piece of cake than this. Just set your expectations really low, you guys. Set it low and you'll be so impressed with everything I create. We're gonna put this in our milkshake. This is still a really hot cake. Hot just like an oven. This is, uh, this is, we'll put it in. It's not frosted like Steak and Shakes, but it's the best that I have. Great. Whipped cream works. I also don't have any cherries, which is really upsetting because they're like my favorite thing ever. So this milkshake is gonna be quite subpar. I thought that I would have some, but I don't. This thing never goes on correctly. Now we're gonna mix up our milkshake and we're gonna be ready to go. Why not? Let's add the whole package. Clearly not something that we should be doing. Oh God! No! 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 Oh Jesus! Stop! Drop! Open up shop! Maddie, stay back. I think it looks mixed. I think it looks mixed. Oh God! I miss. <laughs> At our whipped topping. Oh, come on. There we go. They also added some cookie crumbles on the top for a little bit of flavor. So this is basically the complete opposite of what you would get at Steak and Shake. If I had to do a side-by-side -side comparison, I think I'm just gonna let the professionals handle that. It was having like... All right guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go clean up my kitchen now. Let me know what you guys think of Steak and Shake's new Oreo Red Velvet Milkshake. If you guys happen to stop by this summer and get yourself one, Send me a picture. Also be sure to check out their new peppercorn bacon steak burger. It was quite delicious. I also had one while I was in Indiana. And thankfully, that was not something that we tried to recreate here today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make next. Let's make it something easier. Easier than a milkshake, please. Bye.